If you haven't done so yet, please pause the video and try to solve the question on your own before listening on. We can go ahead and draw a simple picture of this mass as it's hanging from the 1.6 meter string. Not a particularly enlightening picture, but here we have that mass hanging from the string, and we know that the astronaut is sending a pulse down the length of the string, and we know that the speed of the pulse along the string is governed by the following equation. Formally speaking, this is the speed of a wave on a string that is subjected to some kind of tension. And we can see that because of this hanging block, there definitely will be a tension force pulling down on the string. In fact, it might be worth noting right off the bat here that the tension in the string is going to be equal to the gravitational force of this block as it's pulling down on the string. And so we can actually substitute in for the force of tension the expression mg. And then the term mu in the denominator is equal to the mass of the wire divided by its length. So we can actually substitute that in as well. Notice that we called the mass here m sub w to let us know that that's the mass of the wire itself. The m in the numerator again is the mass of the block itself, which we were told was three kilograms. Now our goal is to solve for g, which is sort of trapped under the square root. So if we square both sides of the equation, that's going to get rid of the square root. We could then multiply both sides of the equation by that term mass of wire over length so that it cancels out on the right hand side. And then finally to isolate G we just divide by M, the mass of the block on both sides. Now we're almost ready to plug in all the known values. We just have to come up with an expression for V which is the speed of the pulse as it travels down the wire. And the question notes that it takes 36.1 milliseconds to travel the entire length of the wire. So Actually, we can come off here on the side. We know that speed is equal to a distance divided by a time. In this case, the distance would be the length of the string, and then the time will be that 36.1 milliseconds. So for V, we can substitute in the expression L over T. Note that the L over T is still squared since we had the speed V squared. Now we're ready to plug in all the known values. Again, we have the mass of the wire, the mass of the block, the length of the string, and the time it takes for the pulse to travel down the length of the string. And when you process all of that on your calculator, you should get approximately 1.65 meters per second squared for the value of g. Notice that when we plugged in the time, we converted it into seconds by multiplying by 10 to the minus 3. And then also for the mass of the wire, we changed it from grams into kilograms by multiplying the grams by 10 to the minus 3. So just be careful with the standard units there. But again, the final answer turns out to be 1.65 meters per second squared. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, click the thumbs up icon and also subscribe to the channel. Remember, you can send in your own question to the email address shown on the screen and I'll do my best to respond to it on YouTube.